Hello and thank you for tuning in to this In Girati Studio interview at Asian Utility Week 2016. I am Denise and with me is Nguyen Min Kwang, um, Power System, thank you, Power System Expert, um, Power System Analysis and Planning Department. Yeah. National Load Dispatch Center at um, Vietnam Electricity, also yes. known as, as EVN. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting me here. So um, I think perhaps what our discussion will be is um, basically the roadmap for Smart Grid. Yes. Um, and um, yeah, just all the challenges and the opportunities yes. um, yes. surrounding this particular strategy. So. Um, if, let's start off with the first question. Um, what does the National Load Dispatch Center of EVN actually do? If you could just lay out um, exactly you know, okay, what, okay. what you do on a daily basis. So yeah. the National Load Dispatch Center, this is an uh, accounting dependent subsidiary of EVN. Right. So our mission is to uh, operate the Vietnamese power system and yeah. also the generation power market. Yeah. So in terms of size, uh, we control every power plant bigger than 30 megawatt, and also the national grid of uh, from to 110 to 500 kb system. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, mm. The roadmap for smart grid in EVN and and, and its current state. Um, you you were speaking about it today. You were speaking yes. at the event. Yes. Do you want to just give us an overview of the phases and and its current state? At the okay. Moment? Yeah. Okay. So the roadmap of the for development of uh, smart grid in Vietnam. Yeah. It is decided in three phases. It is decided by the Prime Minister. And uh, the first phase is from 2012 to 2016. Right. And the second phase is uh, from 2017 to 2022. Okay. And the third phase is uh, is after 2022. Right. Okay. So you're, s sorry, you're still in the first phase then, so about we to are, enter into the second at phase. at the end of the first phase. Okay, all right. Okay. And and what is the progress so far? Have there been any challenges um, that you've been <coughs> able to overcome along the way? Yes, uh, it is quite uh, challenging because uh, you see the the, the most uh, challenges in the uh, in deploying the smart grid is that our system is uh, expanding very fast. Yes. And if your system is expanding very fast, you will have to invest money, much money, in the generation yeah. to meet the soaring demand, and also in the network to transfer the power from power plant to customer. Right. So if uh, if you have a very high expanding rate, uh, just to meet the de demand is already a big challenge, and we we have overcome that. Uh, but uh, I think I think we still have some issue of uh, reliability or stability in right. our system, even for the transmission network. Okay. So right. we are now in the at the end of the first phase, and um, in the first phase we concentrate much on the transmission network. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, before I go any further, uh, what was the what was the driver um, for smart grid um, in the area? The driver. Yeah, uh, uh, what was the need? Uh, what is the need for smart grid? Uh, okay, so, so the need for smart grid, the uh, smart grid uh, roadmap was decided by the Prime Minister. So there are, I think there are, there are more four main objectives. The first one is to, to uh, enhance the system operation right. efficiency. Yeah. Uh, the second one is to, re to relieve the need for investment of the uh, generation and, and network. Yeah. Uh, the third one, maybe the, it is the to uh, to take into account the, the new aspect of the smart grid, uh, for example, the integration of the renewable energy, right. and also to, to save the labor the, the, the cost of labor cost saving something like that. So there's quite a lot of opportunity um, yeah. that, that the smart grid is, uh, is actually going to be um, presenting. Yes. Uh, what, is the, what is the second stage um, and the third stage involve exactly? Uh, the second stage is uh, from 2017 to 2022. Yeah. So in, the, in, the, in this second phase and also in the third phase, yes. we will concentrate in the, rather in the distribution network. Right. So okay. we will have to take into account the, the new aspect of the smart grid, the new yeah. modern aspect, uh, such as the uh, remote switching in the power substation, automation, you see, the unmanned substation, remote switching, and uh, remote metering, uh, taking into account the new aspect of, uh, for example, a renewable integration. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. 
right. Um, energy, energy generation development. Um, I'm quite interested about the renewable energy aspect, obviously, because it's, you know, and the smart grid is going to, uh, you know, enable the renewable integration. Yeah. Um, what is going on at the moment with Vietnam and and, and renewable? Plans. In renewable plants, so actually currently in uh, Vietnam, uh, smart um, renewable energy is, is not very developed yet. So okay. for now, apart from the uh, small hydro power plant, yeah. we consider a small hydro power plant to be a renewable energy also. Right. So yeah. uh, for now, the small hydro power plant we have around 2,000 megawatt. Uh, so it's the biggest. Uh, kind of uh, renewable energy yeah. and we have also the um, wind for wind we now we have uh, more than 100 megawatt and for biomass we have uh, around to 150 megawatt now. All right. okay. we have a uh, high potential of uh, solar so the radiation the average radiation in the system in the country is for I think for four to five uh, kilowatt hour per meter square per day. Yeah, right. yeah. So we have a high potential of uh, solar also. Plenty potential there. Yeah. Um, <coughs> are, th are there any specific um, plans, um, I think by 2030, um, that the country wants a certain percentage of renewables? Um, can you just give us a bit of a highlight as to what the energy mix is going to look like by 2030? Okay, so Around for, yeah, yeah, we, we have a power, power development plan. We call that a master power plan. Right. So the, the, mm. the most uh, recently uh, issued uh, mm, version is just uh, in this year. So the um, Prime Minister set a target for development of the renewable energy. Right. For solar, we uh, target uh, around 12,000 megawatt in 2030, right. which will represent about 3.3 percent of the okay. total production. Okay. For wind power, we will have around uh, 6,000 megawatt, and which will uh, represent about 2.1 percent. Right. For biomass, also 2.1 percent. I don't, I don't have the data for the installed capacity. Yeah, no, yeah, that's, but, yeah. that's all right. Okay. So, I mean, do you think that 100 um, percent renewables is possible in Vietnam? I think no. We uh, we still depend much on uh, other kind of energy. For example, uh, for now, the we have to up uh, almost all of the hydro potential. So, uh, okay. uh, in near future, we will still we will have to. Is invest in the uh, rather the thermal confine and also we will uh, import the uh, kind of uh, LNG gas and uh, in 2028 maybe we will have uh, the first uh, nuclear power plant oh, okay. so i think 100 percent of renewable okay. is impossible okay all right and um, how does evn view um, uh, you know, technological advancements, um, especially when it comes to engaging their customers better. Um, have you got a strategy as far as that goes? Oh, uh, this is a, uh, one mission of the uh, Smart Read Roadmap, and as I there mentioned about, we are now in the first phase. Yeah. We, we are still concentrated in, uh, in, uh, in the transmission network, right. but for renewable energy, it will be done in, uh, in, the, in the next phase. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, uh, we we will make some pilot project uh, first, right. and for for it will be implemented later. I think. Okay, great, right. Um, my last question to you. Yeah. Um, so based on your experience with the smart grid development and with the renewables, you know, the, the, the targets that you have for renewables, what advice can you give other utilities from all the lessons that you've, you've learned during the first phase of smart grid development? Quite a difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the advice for other utilities? Yeah, that, that are probably considering smart grid development or, or trying to overcome various challenges. What, what would your I think advice it's, uh, be? It's, uh, it's depend on the condition of the, the country because uh, the condition of Vietnam is quite uh, different from the other country mm. you know the, what I have mentioned about the fast growing of the, the system yeah so uh, I, I think we have to to read step by step yeah. to to invest and 
and to concentrate in the infrastructure of the grid first. I think it is important. Fantastic. All right. Yeah. So step step by step strategy. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us in the studio. I wish Thank we had you. more time, but um, um, yes, we'll, we'll end it off there. Thank you very much. Thank you. And to our viewers, uh, thank you so much for tuning into the session. And should you wish to gain more insight into Asian Utility Week, please have a look at our playlist, which will appear on our website, ngerati.com. Thank you.